An important phase of the Bangladesh story came to an end today. The American Naval Task Force in the Bay of Bengal, which caused such a ruckus in India and here at home, steamed out of the bay today and is now in the South China Sea. And Sheikh Mujibir Rahman, who may become known as the George Washington of Bangladesh, returned to Dhaka and one of the most emotional outbursts in that emotional part of the world. Here are two reports on his journey and on his return. India welcomed Sheikh Mujibur Rahman with full state honors. Sheikh Mujib was greeted first by India's President Giri, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. Full state receptions are reserved for heads of state. India is one of only two countries that have officially recognized Sheikh Mujib's government. I go back now to free independent, sovereign Bangladesh. I go back, not with any hatred in my heart for anyone, but with the satisfaction that truth at last trumped over falsehood. Sanity over insanity, courage over cowardice, justice over injustice, good over evil, joy, Bangla, joy, joy him. Having met the dignitaries at the airport, Sheikh Mujib moved to a nearby parade ground for a public meeting. Many Indians had waited for Sheikh Mujib's release from Pakistan as if he were their president. Thousands of them welcomed him. The Indians are proud of their victory in Bangladesh. It has changed the way the world looks at them and the way they view themselves. In honoring Sheikh Mujib, the Indians were also celebrating their role in helping secure his freedom. The Indian government had planned an extensive schedule, but Sheikh Mujib cut it short. He left after only two and a half hours. He said he was in a hurry to get home. Jack Paxton, NBC News, New Delhi. This moment was the culmination of a 22-year struggle by Sheikh Mujibur Rahman for a separate Bengali nation. He has been thrown in jail at least a half dozen times for his activities. Now he was home in Dhaka, the leader of an independent Bangladesh. His people shouted their adoration. On the airplane ramp, engulfed in well-wishers and flowers, he covered his eyes for a moment, overcome by the emotion of the occasion. Security at the airport was tight, with only a few hundred leading citizens allowed on the tarmac and hundreds of thousands of other Bengalis who wanted to see him kept outside in the streets. But as soon as the Sheikh appeared, the security broke down and he was swamped. He managed to review an honor guard of Bangladesh soldiers, sailors, and airmen, and he moved partway down a red carpeted reception line, but then the crush became too great and he cut short the ceremonies. Sheikh Mujib climbed into an open truck for his motorcade through the street. Dozens of young men, some of them guerrilla fighters in the war, tried to climb in with him. As many as a million people jammed the streets to cheer their leader, shouting, Long live Bangladesh and long live Sheikh Mojib. At times, the truck could not move at all. The street was so jammed. Many people were trampled. Obviously, Sheikh Mujibur was first in the hearts of his countrymen as he began his presidency. However, when the celebrations end and he starts to run the government, he will face economic, political, and diplomatic problems so enormous they will test even his great popularity. He may find, as other revolutionary heroes have discovered, that it was easier to create a new nation than it is to make it work. Ron Nesson, NBC News, Dhaka.